Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Crossroads Zinger model number 333 DB. Double bedroom, double bathroom, outside kitchen, two slides, weighing around 8,600 pounds or so. This one's going to have you eating a Kit Kat sideways. And here's my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on? Happy campers, future campers, and fellow sales people. Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. We're fired up about these zingers. I really, really enjoy the blue that's running along these sides of these models. I think it pops well. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook producing some sweet reels. So maybe follow us along there as well. Right on, Brendan. The, uh, the blue here is like a modern blue, and yet it's retro. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of that in-between. I'm a big, big fan of that big blue down the side. Front power jack, 20 pounder paint tanks, battery in a box location right in through there. We have our pass-through storage going all the way through there to the other side. Electric jacks all the way around. Outside shower, black water flush kit, city water connection. Check this out, B. We got ourselves a gas on-demand water heater. Sewer drain down below it. 50 amp detachable style cord, fresh water fill, furnace vent. Black water flush kit for our secondary black water here at the back with our second washroom. Sewer drain de there. Rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. Pulling our bunk room off the floor. Heading down through the bush here, Brendan. You sticking with me? Yep, this has been our video corner, lady. That's it, brother. Let me blaze a trail for you there. Right around the back side, there is a roof ladder, so you've got to get up on the roof and check your seals. We've got a electric fridge in through here. Covered there, a sink that's plumbed in with our two burner stove top. Nice accent wall here. We got a receptacle spot there to put a TV. And that's finished off with galvanil. Here's our main slide. It's also rack and pinion. Baby. We got <laughs> <laughs> nice door side windows here in our slide facing our campsite. Our main slide has a secondary awning off of it, LED lights. And then right here is your main awning going from the door all the way forward outside speakers, outside receptacle, or an outside TV location if you want to do that. And then the other side of our pass-through. Now let's see what kind of travel access we have here with the slide outs closed. So we're not getting left here into the, uh, the fridge or the kitchen, but we are easily getting to our bathroom there and to our front bedroom. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that Zinger 333DB. You're standing at the corner of the kitchen there, looking towards the door side into our main slide. We have a jackknife style sofa in through here that will turn into a secondary bed. I really like this feature though, how this part just flips down. Easy peasy access for storage. We also have storage underneath the dinette. And I really like this table setup. So it anchors against the U-shape but there's also a leg that goes all the way to the ground. Makes this feel, you know, really steady actually for the style table. Nice windows facing the door side. And then Brendan, we were just talking about this. If you want to turn this into an L, you just, like L couch, you just pop this piece off, flip it to the other side, and you have that L cage, L shaped couch facing where the TV would go. We got some good storage right here. Another cupboard here down below. Fireplace, sound bar, spot to put a TV if you want, cupboard space across the top. And then check out this awesome pantry, man. How do you feel about this? I love it. Jeepers. There's your pantry right in through there. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge in through here as well. And then over here to our right, staying high, microwave range hood, cupboard space through here. Big fan of this accent wall we keep seeing popping up. Seamless counters. We have an undermount stainless steel sink with sink covers and a pull out faucet. And then below all that, we're gonna have two big cupboards here. And some sweet blue lights. Ooh, look at that, eh? That is nice. Three drawers, oven, glass stove top. Let's head to the bunk room, Brennan. How do you feel about that? Great. Great decision? Unreal. <laughs> Flying high here this morning. Single bunk, jackknife style sofa here that will turn into a bed, 
and a trundle mattress where we can just pull that out, have a third sleeper on that side, and then another bunk over through here. I love these mattresses, Brendan. They just feel so cozy. We got cupboards there. We got a spot to put a TV. Kids can kick off some shoes. And then some more stores there for the kids. And then right here is what I'm talking about where we got that second bath. Pour some toilet here, even in the second bath. Sink, cupboard, medicine cabinet. And yeah, fair to say the dump truck fits in through here. Coming out of that washroom, back through the living space into the main bathroom and main bedroom. It's an ensuite washroom here, Brent, so we actually just pass right through. Sweet. Dump truck fits even better. Cupboard there. Another cupboard there, sorry B. Up into that radius style shower. I'm six feet tall. You can see I fit in the shower nice and easily. The overall height of these zingers is, is great, right? Like, I, you know, Brandon's a big boy. He's not even close to ducking his head. Medicine cabinet there, sink, and then one more cupboard right through there. Flipping into the bedroom here, we got a 60 by 74 inch queen. We're gonna have hanging storage on both sides with an open shelf here across the top. Receptacles on both sides, USBs on your side, Brendan. That same access pan, uh, sorry, accent wall. And then we don't, the bed doesn't lift up, but we do have storage underneath the bed from the ends like that. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.